Tucker, I am not surprised. Uh, I have a couple of points to make. Uh, uh, number one, uh, the S&P has been in a nine-day swoon that exactly mirrors Donald Trump's surge. So obviously, uh, Wall Street is worried that, uh, that this could really happen, the largest upset in American political history. And I think that uh, we are really on the verge of that, the cusp of that. I think Donald Trump really can do this. And I, uh, mm. I put the, uh, the credit for that squarely in the lap of James Comey, the FBI director, who a week ago Friday uh, in an extraordinary uh, press conference said that uh, he was reopening, in, in essence, the, uh, the investigation into uh, Hillary you, Clinton's well, email. So wait, 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 so you got J that. James Comey on the one hand, you have Vladimir Putin on the other in these WikiLeaks. Uh, you know, the flood of one-sided disclosures. Geraldo, though, you're leaving something out, and that's Obamacare. <laughs> yes. right. If you look at those Obamacare premiums in states like Pennsylvania and Arizona, where you're seeing this movement and you're seeing these incredible increases on their monthly premium costs, those numbers where we learned about these increases on Obamacare hit before this email scandal with James Comey, and that's where you saw some of these trend lines. Do you disagree? I, I, I disagree. I, I, I disagree to this extent, Clayton, and I think that it is important to note that Obamacare really does seem to be in a very wounded, a profoundly wounded, uh, grievously wounded state. But that is uh, like uh, like one to a hundred when it comes to the emails. If you ask anybody on the streets of this town or any town in this country what it is about Hillary Clinton that bothers them, it is not Obamacare. You mention Obamacare. In fairness, how could you not mention the fact that for the 73rd straight month, we have added jobs, 161,000 jobs, unemployment now 4.9 percent, yeah. wages increasing 2.8 percent. In fairness, if you're going to talk about the economy yeah, or Obamacare, you have to give a much more balanced balanced picture. It may not be great, Tucker, but uh, this is, no, 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 remember I mean, where so, we were when George look, W. Bush I'm was I'm not president. saying Trump's going to win, but I am saying like the whole Vladimir Putin thing is just dumb. I mean, there's no concrete proof that Putin is behind this. And for someone who covered the war... I, I don't understand how you could say that when we because had 12 no intelligence proof. agencies that say it's okay. the Russians okay. well, let, who are say, giving WikiLeaks okay. the information. Okay. Well, the and it, it doesn't also it strike us, you that there's no WikiLeaks... There are weapons of mass destruction There's no WikiLeaks about Republicans? Like, there's it, no WikiLeaks about any Republicans? Okay, okay, look. Republicans don't send emails? Well, you don't send emails? But it doesn't mean I don't send emails? It's only Hillary Clinton's emails? Let me stop the explosion for one second. Just ask this. Let's stipulate... Okay. Putin's behind it, okay? You can prove it. You can't, but let's say you could. Isn't the real point that these emails are real, and don't we as journalists have an obligation to assess them on their own terms? Like, what do they say? So this whole Putin stuff is just a talking point meant to divert our attention from the, the amazing facts in these emails, no? I, I, I want everyone to understand going forward that Donald Trump could very well win this race. He could very well win this race on the basis of those emails. Those emails largely were provided by WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks right. was fed by the Russians. Vladimir Putin has influenced that. America's election. We don't Eleven know that. of our intelligence agencies have certified to that fact. Which agencies? That's that's point which, one. Which, which point two is point. Uh, I, you know, I don't. I'm going to listen to that. NSA, oh, etc. I will. Uh, but. You know, and, and everyone, is, everyone is professing to be so upset about what the emails uh, contain, and yet we're not upset at all about Edward Snowden and the NSA leaks where they're but really let me, giving let me out jump state in. Let me secrets. jump in there because I think what people are concerned about and upset about when it comes to these emails and what we're even learning this morning about classified emails Hillary Clinton sent to her daughter Chelsea from State Department is how she can get away with that. And now she's running for president. You think about uh, so many different jobs, including, you know, Mike Pence in the debate when he talked about his son working in the military. If he had sent classified emails, classified documents, he would be removed from his post. So I think a lot of people are scratching their heads saying, how is she able to get away with this and not only be charged for anything, but now potentially be elected as the president of the United States if that's what ends up happening on Tuesday? That's a question on a lot of people's minds, I think. This Good morning. question. Two, two points. Your last two guests have spoken of imminent indictments. You know and I know that Fox News a few days ago had to backtrack on the report that indictments were imminent. We have backtracked, we have said, we have corrected our reporting on, in that regard. Why are indictments not imminent? They are not imminent because no grand jury has been impaneled. As right. an attorney, you, you, we know, you have to have a grand jury 
they have to decide whether there is probable cause that a no, crime no, has you're been not committed. Answering Abby's question. And, then question they, and then Hillary's they indict. Special treatment. If no, you have no yes. grand jury, you can't have right, an it. indictment. Now to your second point about mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton sharing classified information with Chelsea. If Hillary Clinton knowingly shared classified information with someone not qualified to receive it, as David Petraeus, General Petraeus, my friend, did with Paula Broadwell, as General Cartwright, uh, the, the, the hero, did with various reporters in Washington, D.C., then a crime has been committed. But what does that require? It requires a finding that, A, the material was indeed classified, and B, there was an intent to share classified information with someone not qualified legally right. to but, receive but, it. But, but there you're, has you're been kind no of proof you're kind of dodging with that. Look, no uh, let's be real. That. Do you think that if you did what Hillary did, that you'd be in the same position she's in, which is like not charged with any no grand jury? No, you'd be in deep trouble and you know it. Like that's just true. She's getting special right. treatment and that's wrong. Do you think she she has gotten special treatment, Geraldo, or no? Yeah, I, I think indeed Hillary Clinton has gotten special treatment when the FBI violated its 60-day rule. What does the 60-day rule say? It says 60 days before an election, you don't mess with the political process when you are on the judicial side of the equation. You wait until the election is over. If you have missed that two-month window, then you wait. To do it 11 days, but look at the that's impact it has That's not a rule, by had. the way. That's, there's the, no law the, that it, says it is that. A, that's it not is true. The policy, it is the policy of the Bureau, and you cannot point to a single Congress instance didn't pass that law. in I mean, history look, okay. where that has happened. It's a tradition, and look, I think they should have included specifics. I kind of agree with you there. You shouldn't accuse someone without being precise about what you're accusing them of. I agree with that. But let's not pretend they violated some law that passed by our Congress. That's just not true. It's a tradition, okay? It's not a regulation. Yeah, uh, but... Yeah, oh, uh, but yeah, oh, uh, but yeah, oh.